Operation Overlord was the codename for the Allied invasion of Normandy during World War II. It was one of the largest amphibious military operations in history and took place on June 6, 1944. The operation was aimed at liberating German-occupied Western Europe and establishing a foothold for the Allies in France. Under the overall command of General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the supreme commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force, the operation involved a combined force of over 150,000 troops from the United States, Great Britain, Canada, and other Allied nations. The invasion force included airborne troops, naval vessels, and an extensive array of supporting aircraft. The invasion plan included a two-pronged assault, airborne landings by paratroopers and gliderborne troops behind enemy lines, followed by amphibious landings on the beaches of Normandy. The five designated landing zones were given code names: Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. The American forces were assigned to Utah and Omaha, while the British and Canadian forces were assigned to the other beaches. The initial assault faced heavy resistance, particularly at Omaha Beach where the American forces encountered intense German defenses. However, through sheer determination and bravery, the Allied forces managed to establish a foothold and expand their presence along the coast. Over the following weeks, the Allies secured their position in Normandy, leading to the liberation of France and the eventual defeat of Nazi Germany. Operation Overlord, often referred to as D-Day, marked a turning point in World War II. It opened up a second front in Western Europe and put significant pressure on the German forces. The successful invasion paved the way for subsequent Allied offensives and ultimately led to the Allied victory in Europe in 1945. On June 6, 1944, as part of Operation Overlord, the largest amphibious invasion in history, American forces landed at Utah Beach. The objective of the Utah Beach landing was to secure a beachhead and establish a foothold in German-occupied France. The assault was carried out by the U.S. 4th Infantry Division, supported by amphibious tanks and naval bombardment. The landing at Utah Beach faced relatively light resistance compared to other landing zones, mainly due to the topography and the initial confusion caused by the parachute drops that occurred inland. The troops quickly overcame German defenses and successfully secured the beachhead. Utah Beach played a significant role in the success of the overall D-Day invasion. It allowed the Allies to establish a base for further operations and provided a vital link between the other landing zones, particularly Omaha Beach to the east. Today, Utah Beach is part of the Normandy American Cemetery and Memorial. The site includes a museum, exhibits, and memorials dedicated to the American soldiers who participated in the D-Day landings. Visitors can explore the beach learn about the history of the invasion, and pay tribute to the soldiers who fought and sacrificed their lives during this pivotal moment of World War II. Omaha Beach is a historic location situated on the coast of Normandy, France. It gained worldwide recognition as one of the landing sites during the Allied invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944, also known as D-Day, in World War II. The beach was a crucial part of Operation Overlord the largest amphibious assault in history, aimed at liberating Western Europe from Nazi Germany's control. Omaha Beach was assigned to the American forces, specifically the United States Army's 1st Infantry Division, also known as the Big Red One, and elements of the 29th Infantry Division. The beachhead was heavily defended by German forces with fortified positions, obstacles, and mines, making it one of the most challenging landing zones on D-Day. Despite facing intense German resistance, the American forces managed to secure the beachhead through incredible bravery and sacrifice. The landing at Omaha Beach resulted in substantial casualties, with many soldiers losing their lives or sustaining injuries. However, their resilience and determination ultimately led to the successful establishment of a foothold that played a pivotal role in the overall success of the D-Day invasion. Today, Omaha Beach is part of the Normandy American Cemetery and Memorial, a tribute to the American soldiers who fought and died during the invasion. The cemetery honors over 9,000 servicemen, most of whom gave their lives in the D-Day landings and subsequent military operations in the region. The site serves as a solemn reminder of the sacrifice made by those who fought for freedom during World War II. Omaha Beach and the surrounding area also attract numerous visitors who come to pay their respects and learn about this significant historical event.
Gold Beach is another historic location on the coast of Normandy, France, and it was one of the five landing zones during the Allied invasion of Normandy on D-Day, June 6, 1944, in World War II. The beach was assigned to British forces as part of Operation Overlord. The objective of the British troops landing at Gold Beach was to establish a foothold, secure the beachhead, and push inland to link up with other Allied forces. The landing was carried out by the British Army's 50th Infantry Division and elements of the 8th Armoured Brigade. They faced significant challenges, including obstacles and heavily fortified German defences, but managed to overcome them with strategic planning, amphibious vehicles known as Hobart's Funnies, and the support of naval and air bombardments. The initial assault on Gold Beach was divided into several sectors, codenamed Jig, King, and Item. The British forces faced determined German resistance but were able to establish a solid landing zone and quickly push inland. The 50th Infantry Division fought its way through strong German defences and achieved its primary objectives by the end of D-Day. Gold Beach played a vital role in the success of the overall D-Day invasion, as the British forces successfully linked up with the Canadians landing at Juneau Beach to the east and the Americans landing at Omaha Beach to the west. The establishment of the beachhead allowed for the further advance of Allied troops and the eventual liberation of Western Europe from Nazi Germany's occupation. Today, Gold Beach is a site of historical importance and remembrance. Visitors can explore the remnants of the Mulberry Harbour, an artificial port constructed to facilitate the supply of troops and equipment during the invasion. The area is also home to museums, memorials, and cemeteries honoring the soldiers who fought and sacrificed their lives during the D-Day landings. Juneau Beach is a significant historical location on the coast of Normandy, France. It was one of the five designated landing zones during the Allied invasion of Normandy on D-Day, June 6, 1944, in World War II. Juneau Beach was assigned to the Canadian forces as part of Operation Overlord. The objective of the Canadian troops landing at Juneau Beach was to establish a beachhead, secure the area, and push inland to link up with other Allied forces. The assault was carried out by the Canadian 3rd Infantry Division and supported by elements of the 2nd Canadian Armoured Brigade. The soldiers faced formidable challenges, including strong German defences, mines, and obstacles. The Canadian forces landed on Juneau Beach in the face of intense opposition from the defending German troops. Despite the heavy resistance, the Canadians managed to secure their landing zones and gradually advance inland. They faced significant casualties, but their determination and courage allowed them to overcome the initial defences and progress toward their objectives. The success of the Canadian forces at Juneau Beach was crucial to the overall success of the D-Day invasion. The establishment of a solid beachhead allowed for the consolidation of Allied forces and the further advance into Nazi-occupied France. The Canadians pushed inland and linked up with British forces from Gold Beach to the west, contributing to the success of the larger military operation. Juneau Beach holds historical significance as a testament to the bravery and sacrifice of the Canadian soldiers who participated in the D-Day landings. Today, the area features memorials, museums, and cemeteries dedicated to honoring those who fought and lost their lives during the invasion. Visitors can learn about the events of D-Day, pay their respects, and gain a deeper understanding of this critical chapter in World War II history. Sword Beach is another important location on the coast of Normandy, France, and it was one of the landing zones during the Allied invasion of Normandy on D-Day, June 6, 1944. Sword Beach was assigned to British forces as part of Operation Overlord. The objective of the British troops landing at Sword Beach was to secure the beachhead, establish a foothold and push inland to link up with other Allied forces. The assault was carried out primarily by the British 3rd Infantry Division, with support from specialized engineering units and elements of the 27th Armoured Brigade. The British forces faced well-defended German positions at Sword Beach, including obstacles, mines, and fortified defences. However, through careful planning, naval and aerial bombardments, and coordinated amphibious landings, they were able to overcome these obstacles and secure a successful landing. The initial assault on Sword Beach was divided into several sectors, codenamed Oboe, Peter, Queen, and Roger. The British troops faced varying degrees of resistance in each sector, but they managed to establish a solid beachhead and begin moving inland. As the day progressed, 
they successfully linked up with Canadian forces from Juneau Beach to the east and advanced toward their objectives. The capture of Sword Beach played a significant role in the overall success of the D-Day invasion. It provided a crucial link between the British forces at Gold Beach to the west and the Canadian forces at Juneau Beach to the east. The establishment of the beachhead allowed for the further advance of Allied troops and the eventual liberation of France from Nazi occupation. Today, Sword Beach serves as a site of historical remembrance and reflection. Visitors can explore the area and learn about the events of D-Day through museums, memorials, and nearby cemeteries. It stands as a testament to the bravery and sacrifice of the British soldiers who fought in the pivotal Battle of Sword Beach. The Aftermath of D-Day the Allied invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944, had significant implications for the course of World War II and the eventual liberation of Western Europe from Nazi Germany's control. Here are some key aspects of the aftermath. Consolidation of beachheads, following the initial successful landings on D-Day, the Allied forces worked to consolidate and expand their beachheads along the Normandy coast. This involved securing the captured areas, fortifying defences and establishing supply lines to support further operations. Breakout from Normandy, after securing the beachheads, the Allies launched a major offensive to break out from the Normandy region. This offensive, known as Operation Cobra, began on July 25, 1944, and aimed to create a gap in German lines, allowing the Allied forces to advance further into France. Liberation of Paris as the Allied forces advanced through France, they liberated Paris on August 25, 1944. The liberation of the French capital marked a significant turning point in the war and symbolized the impending defeat of Nazi Germany. Allied advances and German retreat, in the months following D-Day, the Allied forces made substantial progress, pushing the German forces back and liberating large parts of France and other occupied territories. The German forces faced significant losses and were forced into a retreat. Battle of the Bulge Despite the Allied advances, the German forces mounted a counter-offensive known as the Battle of the Bulge in December 1944. It was a desperate attempt to halt the Allied momentum, but the German offensive was eventually repelled, leading to further losses for the German army. Surrender of Nazi Germany The relentless Allied advances, coupled with other military campaigns on multiple fronts, eventually led to the surrender of Nazi Germany. On May 7, 1945, Germany officially surrendered, effectively ending the war in Europe. Cost of D-Day, the D-Day landings and subsequent operations resulted in significant casualties on both sides. Allied estimates suggest that approximately 10,000 soldiers lost their lives during the invasion, including over 4,000 killed on Omaha Beach alone. The German forces also suffered heavy losses in defending their positions. The aftermath of D-Day set the stage for the final liberation of Europe from Nazi occupation and played a crucial role in the ultimate Allied victory in World War II. The successful invasion and subsequent military campaigns led to the collapse of Hitler's regime and the end of the war in Europe.